Odds against you? Need help? Then call for the equalizer. Hello and welcome to another episode of the Bulldog Film Review. Of course, that's the movie that we are going to review, The Equalizer. Back in about 1985, CBS had a show called The Equalizer, starring Ed Woodward as Robert McCall and Robert Lansing as Control. show was done very well. It's basically about a man who's in his retirement. You don't know where, what this man did for a living. However, he does have skills and he does have resources to, say, get rid of problems that you may have no matter how violent and vicious they were. The show did very well. It was uh, always exciting to see what he was going to do next and uh, how he was going to solve some of these vicious and violent problems. However, uh, he developed some um, heart problems, the actual actor, Woodward, and the show had to be canceled as a result. Now, years later, here comes the movie starring Denzel Washington. This movie was directed by Antoine Facqua, and in fact, I do believe one of the original writers of the show um, participated in this, uh, Mr. Sloan. Movie's rated R and lasts 131 minutes. So the movie starts out, that's a little on the slow side as it begins, but what you're seeing is a, a man who's in the uh, later, uh, or like the prime of his life, and uh, he's got this little job and he's quiet. He keeps to himself, doesn't really share with anyone his uh, private life. Well, he comes in contact uh, with somebody who needs help, um, this girl who is involved with the Russian mob. And things turn bad when she gets brutally beaten up and ends in a hospital. The dark side of Denzel Washington comes out. Now you might say to yourself, well, wasn't that what Man on Fire was about? No, it's a totally different movie. Man on Fire was an excellent movie. I've seen that movie several times and I thoroughly enjoy it. Yet this movie had to do with the TV show, quite different. Um, you start to find out what his past is as the movie goes on. And he still has the resources that are needed to quell any problem whatsoever. And he goes against the big Russian mob to do this. What I liked about the writing is Denzel Washington can also uh, carry a role as a very intellectual, smart aleck person. So there are some scenes and little parts of the movie where um, he just comes in and just by him saying the dialogue, you're laughing in your seat and you're also starting to feel sorry for the people he's up against because you know something bad's going to happen to them. The movie's done well. Uh, the audience, every time I was, I've seen it twice, and every time the, uh, um, the scenes come up in this movie that are great, the audience that I attended with, they're clapping and laughing and having a good time. Uh, once this movie starts rolling, it's a ride. It's a ride you don't want to get off. Um, I do um, like this movie quite a bit and I encourage you to go see it um, it's one of the better movies it's I put it up there um, with all of his other movies that he's done well such as glory training day of course man on fire and then another movie um, which I wish a lot of other people would talk about and that was a uh, flight that was a very good movie that Denzel Washington uh, had done as I stated, I consider him one of the better actors that are out there. And uh, I think you're going to enjoy this movie. But that's just me. Thank you.